Getting into late next week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you can see our polar jet digging very, very, very far south. And you can see we still have that moisture available coming off the Gulf. What happens here? Well, some of that moisture links in with that cold air. And now you've got snow falling through portions of upstate South Carolina, through portions of North Carolina, including Charlotte, Virginia, into the mid-Atlantic. First kind of real Southern type snowstorm here. Tries to go up the coast too for New York City, Philadelphia, maybe even Boston. Now again, 250 hours out. Don't buy this exact storm. I am beginning to buy the pattern though. So we're going to watch this very, very closely. If you're excited for Southern snow, I'm telling you the opportunity is going to be there probably as we get late into next week. You still need a good storm track. You need the cold air and moisture at the same time, not just one or the other. Right now, it's looking good. Things can change though. But again, I will update you every day. This is why I put out videos every day. This is why I live stream every day. And I will tell you my confidence in this pattern is the highest it's been throughout January. January has been tough to forecast. But again, I like the consensus we're seeing with our ensembles. I like the cold air in Europe. And I like what that can lead to in the States during this time frame. Let's quickly take a look at the GFS. In the short term, not much of a difference. We know what's happening as we get into Thursday, Friday. Some snow through the plains, upper Midwest. Some severe weather Thursday to Saturday. Again, Southern Plains, Dixie Alley, Ohio Valley. I want to push out towards here on the GFS and show you what's happening because here we go getting into the 15th and 16th and again i always talk about the 540 line look at this freezing air driving into the gulf and look at the moisture available here okay this would be about seven or eight days out still outside of forecasting range but we see models agreeing on this type of pattern like i said so is it going to happen like this no could something like this occur though yes next thursday next friday we get a very nice negatively tilted trough this right here is not a snowstorm this right here is a blizzard very negatively tilted trough strong winds this is potentially a major major nor'easter again outside of forecasting range i don't buy at all that this is exactly what we're going to see but you can see comparing and contrasting the european and the gfs they both like that cold air digging towards the gulf they both like an active subtropical jet. They both like the moisture available. So I'm hoping for you guys in the South, hoping for you guys in the mid-Atlantic New England coast who've been waiting for that return of the almighty nor'easter that maybe you get an opportunity here. The pattern looks good, but you still need a little bit of luck with these storm tracks. So I'll continue to watch it. I'll continue to update you, but the GFS is super aggressive with that. And you can see what happens right behind it too. We get even more snow trying to dig into the South, this time in the Southern Plains towards Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, maybe some into Missouri. This is really far out again in the model run. So we're not gonna look too much into the end of this model run. But anyways, very interesting and exciting pattern ahead potentially.